Caution is advised. Hey guys, my name is Andre Record and welcome back to my channel once again and today we're doing a instructional video on the 737-800. Finally got my mouse yard to be uh, at the correct place once I click on something. So anyway, so let me explain. We are in a Southwest Boeing 737-800. Uh, parked on runway 7 left here in Los Angeles International Airport. Uh, we're going to do, uh, basically I'll be talking about what's inside the airplane and uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and we'll do a quick turnaround flight uh, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. So anyway, so let's see. So let's do our pre-flight first. So uh, everything's off battery switch is off, uh, bleed air is off, check, uh, isolation valves on, off, checked. Alright, now let's go ahead and do our overhead preparation check. Alright, overhead preparation checklist. So battery switch is on and covered, there we go, and ground connection uh, can be connected at this time. We'll bring up our FMC and we will go and connect our ground power. Okay. All right. Excellent. Cabin lights are on. Service headphones is on. And AC altimeter. AC altimeter on a battery. Check. Uh, APU check. APU generator on the. Uh, Flat altimeter check. Ground power connected. No smoking sign. Seat belt sign are both on. Emergency exit lights, lights armed and covered. That basically allows the people to, to uh, find a way out if we have to emergency land the airplane. That right there is the uh, ground power. See now it's disconnected. Now it's connected again. The uh, this is the uh, ground power switch, so we'll connect that. And the window heat basically warm up the windows for the passengers. Uh, so if there's a burst strike, it won't just shatter the windows. Uh, IRS mood selectors on the way overhead panel, the F overhead panel, correct way to nav. This is the uh, front overhead panel. This is the uh, aft overhead panel, so it's all out in line right now. It was on DC and it was out in line now, and now normally it would take about 15 minutes in, uh, uh, before we can enter the IRS position, but here we turned down about 15 seconds. Recirculation fans is on, and isolation valves is open. Allow the air conditioning from outside to enter the aircraft and cool down the airplane and our and this area right here is the uh, altitude and pa uh, passenger pressuration checks uh, our cruise altitude uh, 10,000 feet today and 150 is the airport elevation aka landing altitude uh, position light is steady. It's supposed to be at the off position. Uh, position light steady. Logo light on. Anti-collusion light. So we don't. So this basically allows our other planes don't uh, run into us. Position light. Anti-collusion light. Wind light. Well, well. This is basically the uh, little uh, red light that flashes on and off. All right. So this is our engine ignition selector. We'll put the on the right or the left or both. Uh, I mean, in the real world, I always put it to the right because we're going to start the right engine first. You can start the engine on ground power or you can start it with the APU, which in the real world, uh, uh, in the real world, uh, mostly they start with the APU generator running. And make sure the passenger oxygen is on automatic, which it is. And okay, and right here is the uh, panel lights. This switch right here, or this knob, I'm turning right there, and this knob right there is all the uh, 
cabin light uh, or the cockpit lights. We don't need that today because we're not flying at night time. Okay, so let's see. Uh, all right, so now the IRS must be finished. So we jump back inside the cockpit and it is finished. You can see it was a black screen, but now it is uh, configured and we can uh, jump up to here and enter our, I enter our IRS position which you can see on the FMC here it has a little message said enter enter IRS position so we we'll go to FMC enter position we are at Los Angeles International which is this top number right here uh, I'm indicating with my mouse we will copy that and paste it onto IRS pause and uh, there we go and everything's good right now and you, as you can notice right here on the AR this is the main uh, navigation system right here right here the basically I don't need it's self explanatory uh, self explanatory uh, explanatory uh, the brown is the ground, the uh, blue is the sky. This tape, this is what they call it, a tape right here, uh, right here. Uh, this is the speed tape. Once I give it power, you will see this will come down. Actually, it will move down with you. And then this right here, this uh, black uh, thing, this black uh, lever or l leveling. Uh, indicator it will actually bank with you l to the left or to the right and right here on the side you see no V speed because I have not entered any V speeds on the uh, via the uh, flight management computer onto onto the uh, navigation of uh, the uh, altitude uh, navigation system here and this little arrow here basically shows your autopilot speed which is right now holding at a hundred knots and right here you see GS on the bottom here this is your ground speed and knots it's not the same uh, they use knots on in boats and also airplanes right here is the altitude tape uh, right now this is our airport elevation which is a 140 140 uh, that's why it's right there and that is the same uh, same number that you see on here 140 uh, yeah it's 150 right now because there is no 140 yeah I turn it for you and you saw it is 100 and it turned it by 50s and landing altitude there and then right there is your uh, how fast or uh, how fast you're descending or climbing basically your vertical speed indicator right there it will move with you once you start climbing or descending and right here is this right here is a negative four right now it basically is uh, your altitude it will start uh, counting the um, exact altitude plus how however high the ground is from sea it will say it will it will give you an idea of your extra altitude actually right now you can see um, we're at 140 is negative 4 but like sometimes this might happen that sometimes this might say uh, if if uh, it has like 200 uh, feet and this one might say 100 you want to relay on this one because it is only you're actually only 100 feet above ground and right there is your degrees above or below the horizon uh, you want to get it up about uh, about seven to eight degrees about the horizon you don't want to get it uh, above 10 because that would be too steep too, uh, too steep and also when you're descending you don't want to get below 10 degrees uh, uh, below 10 degrees below the horizon that'd be too steep of a uh, uh, descent and this is basically your turning this would actually move with you if you turn to the left it will move to the left you turn to the right it turn move to the right it's basically a degrees of degrees of turning uh, uh, indicator right there this is your 
main uh, heading display or your this is basically the same thing as that one down there uh, your uh, you will input your route on here this is basically a map if you say uh, right this magenta dotted uh, pink or purple line is your heading that you will input on your uh, heading degrees right now you see uh, you see right now we're on a heading of 070 so if I'm so if I change this to 070 it will it will get get together with the uh, white line just like so uh, okay with that said down here is also your ground speed zero and right there is where your uh, waypoint name would go and how far you are from that waypoint and this is your your heading number your track number at 070 and this one basically once you start to roll and take off this this magenta white dotted line would tell you how, uh, your wind speed and right here is right here all this three right there is uh, when you disconnect the autopilot the warning will well, uh, the the red light would start flashing you will push this button to uh, s cancel the warning or you can do it from this switch right here you can push it twice and the disconnect uh, autopilot would disconnect and right here is what they call it a teller you use your rudders right here you see my, my I'm controlling the rudder just a tiny bit right now there's no hydraulic power it uh, this one only gives you a seven, seven degree no, nose turn each way, but with the r tiller right now, you can get it up to about 70 degrees of nose turn. And right here is your crew oxygen. Right now, it's showing at 100, which is correct. We want it to be a 100 percent crew oxygen test checked. All right, so now. So now we can go ahead and move back to our FMC right now. Uh, enter our uh, enter our uh, reference airport. We're at Los Angeles Kilo Lima Alpha X-ray. There we go. And and you see these are the uh, lights for the for the uh, panel uh, basically from here down to there that's the uh, panel light for that and then we'll go to our route page this is where you enter your departure airport we're at runway 7 left no 7 right wait wait what ow 7 right and you see that's our takeoff runway the double line there is your runway and your and those magenta white line dotted line is the extension of each end of the runway uh, and also I'm, I'm gonna tell it that we are gonna land back at Los Angeles uh, and there is our Los Angeles landing point waypoint there and and uh, we're going to be uh, since Southwest don't have that, we're just going to put Southwest one on there, just as a placeholder on the flight note. And then departure and arrival, we're going to do the uh, GM four departure and the uh, E E H F and then seven right E H F transition. The arrival, we're going to come in uh, probably two five left and. 25 left is the same wrong way as 7 7 right 25 left is just the other end there just the other end of the runway that's 25 left so we'll go 25 left base of 3 and a rivers route now before we activate it we'll do some changes and that was the uh, Route discontinuity. We don't want that to happen, so that's why we're doing that. And we'll actually go direct to Basta. There we go. And then we'll go 
activate it. Before we activate it, it's always the uh, magenta blue line, a dotted broken line. But now we press activate, execute, and it will turn purple. You see, it turned purple right now. That line there is your, your go around. If you need to go around, you will follow this route. Okay, now we will calculate our zero three weight. Double click on this button there. The airplane will calculate for that for us. And uh, we have reserves. How many minutes of, of extra fuel we have on board? We'll put that as uh, one zero, uh, 10 minutes. And cross index basically give the airplane uh, an idea of how to fly this airplane to conserve fuel. And we will just give it 55 on there. Cross index. And we'll just put 10,000 feet. Uh, right here is your recommended um, altitude. Each flight would have a different one. The, uh, the minimum. The minimum you can put is 10,000, so we'll put that in 10,000. We will be able to reach to 10,000 feet. Right here, you basically allow you to choose what kind of takeoff, how much thrust you want for takeoff. The maximum uh, thrust, we have 26k pounds of thrust. You can do 24, 22, or 27. Uh, it, uh, I mean, 27 is way, 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 way too much. 27 is all the way up like that. 26 is like right there. That's the takeoff and configuration warning you're hearing. Right here, before I have to auto throttle disconnected, this button right here, if you push it, it will push the uh, throttles automatically and give you the exact 26k pounds of thrust. So we will just give it 26 and activate that. And we'll go to takeoff ACAR systems. Flaps. We we'll take off flaps. We're gonna put five, and uh, this right here, CG center gravity, 19.1, and our trim wheel is 609. Trim wheel, we'll trim it down to 609. Uh, right about there's good, and th that's our V speed there. V1 is uh, 148, VR 149, V2 is 157. Alright, and okay, and uh, this right here basically tell you how many feet of runway you have remained. Uh, okay, and then cancel a few messages. And for the first, o uh, for the first officer's FMC, we want that to um, be on the legs part for now. 10,000, 10,000. We'll just send it 9,000 after trade. A uh, waypoint. This basically tells you how, what is your altitude you're supposed to be on and your speed, 240, and your uh, heading. All right. So now we can go ahead and get ready to start the APU. So fuel pumps on. APU, APU switch start. Wait for the low oil pressure light right there where my mouse right there. We will fire it up. Okay. There we go. Alright. And auto brakes, RTO. If I need to reject the takeoff, stop the takeoff in the middle of the runway, it will it will help us break. Okay, so we can set up our out autopilot. We'll start on the uh, APHIS, APHIS panel right here. We will need to turn on our uh, terrain, basically tell you to ring around the airport, uh, around the 10, 10 mile distance actually. Uh, data, around, and traffic. Traffic right there, traffic is on right now. And also for the first officer side, we want to do the same thing. Uh, terrain, data, traffic. Okay, we'll start, we'll stop on there. Also, we got tons of controls here. You can change your range, like 20, 40, 6, 3, 20 is the maximum. We'll set that at 20 for now. And you can do your plan, plan mode, map mode, VOR mode, approach mode. 
but normally we'll always use it plain. I mean, normally we use the map mode. The first officer have his own controls there. And on the course, it's basically the same as the heading, so we'll put that at uh, 070. Alright, and our flight director switch is on, which the autopilot is controlled by the captain's side. First officer side is on as a backup. Our uh, our uh, speed, we'll put that at uh, 250 knots. Auto throttles armed, 10,000 feet check. And uh, APU's finished. APU ignition. APU ignition check. And now we can go ahead and disconnect the ground power. And also we can also turn our air conditioning on now since the ground power has been disconnected. Alright, so now we are good. And uh, now we are basically ready for the engine start. Uh, since I did the most of the work with the uh, ground power connected. And we'll grab the yaw dampers. Basically it helps you float the controls in the, when you're in the air. Uh, we'll turn our electric hydraulic pumps on. Those two lights are going to go out just like that. And those two on the side is the uh, engines. Since the engines are not alive yet. It will be here in just a minute. Uh, okay, so now we can go ahead and put our runway light and landing light on. Turn our all our fuel pumps on because we got fuel in all the fuel pumps. And turn our APU bleed air on. And we'll turn off of our air conditioning and start engine number two. And right here is your engine gauges. You can see the bleed air is moving. Uh, the the, uh, the bleeds will move, and the flight controls are free now. Okay, 20 into 24. Engage the fuel, and also fire extinguisher and fire warning test. Check. Overheat test. Check. Parking brake set. Check. Cargo fire alarm checked. Warnings, emergency warning sounds. Glide slow. Check. Pull up. Pull up. Check. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Start engine one. Checked. And uh, also our uh, overspeed and stall test. Overspeed left, overspeed right. Cockpit voice flight recorder says on now since uh, the uh, performance is done. Stall left, check. Stall right, checked. Landing gear indicator light on. Three greens checked. Uh, passenger oxygen normal checked. Crew oxygen normal checked. IRS is a good checked and uh, and now we can go ahead and engage fuel to engine number one. Got to 20. Okay. Uh, autopilot confirm off. Radio panel. We will turn our transponder to TARA. Uh, we'll transmit where we are and who we are to the air traffic controllers. 3440 as our squawk code when basically the air traffic controller will give you a certain code you will type into there and our cockpit door is locked and closed and those two switches uh, knobs there basically control the lighting of this panel the radio panel alright so now the both engines are fired up we will go ahead and do the generator uh, do the uh, APU generators Kill the APU, continuous, both engines, uh, air conditioning is on, uh, engine bleed air on, oscillation valves on automatic, APU bleed air off, 
and Pro Pete's on flaps five five green five plan uh, and uh, notify the flight attendant which is right here hear that noise it tells the flight attendant we're ready to go as that happens we will go ahead and test the uh, speed brakes which is good because the indicator red light is on okay retract and as you can see once I disconnect the auto throttle uh, the uh, uh, the auto throttle warning I told you about will turn to the red and if I connect to autopilot and I disconnect autopilot I can press this switch and do like this or I can do on and then disconnect it by pushing this switch right here twice it will only give the warning three times and the lights is off alright so the flaps is set and we are all set to go so I will give it 40% power before we go although I forgot one more thing system test so this is basically allow you to test your controls so I'll call full left you see it movements full right neutral full up full down neutral rudders full left full right neutral and before takeoff checklist up to the line complete. Here we go, takeoff. So I will bring it up to about right about there for the engines to catch up and we are rolling. Takeoff. Takeoff through a fence and you can see right there your how however meters of runway has been left uh, as the takeoff uh, information we'll put this on the route information actually and V1, V1. V1. rotate V2. and uh, we're up V2 means uh, safe climb see the V speed no V speed warning are gone are uh, and uh, we are up and now we can, since we're up now we're uh, off to the ground we can put off our la uh, runway entrance lights put our gear up since we have a positive uh, rate of climb and we're a little bit high on the uh, horizon so we just want to maintain about right about there see I'm talking about the uh, uh, vertical indicator is moving up now and we're at 20 400 feet per minute uh, landing gear lever off auto brakes off autopilot cannot be engaged yet you can see that because we're still be, have to be in uh, manual control and a flaps uh, reach flaps up speed so we'll put our flaps up and we'll fly it basically at a straight line and uh... yeah calm down okay. a heck of a climb rate today because we're kind of light autopilot coming on VNAV and LNAV both on and we're good and now we are in total complete control of the autopilot after liftoff uh, ground checklist uh, the uh, engine start switch is off uh, seat belt sign to automatic and uh, now we are just going to uh, climb and uh, uh, yeah and uh, so once you reach your climb of 10,000 feet which we won't be there for a very long time you can see we are only there uh, we will be there in a couple of minutes and uh, then we'll start descending to 9,000 feet uh, which is about 11 
uh, about 12 miles, I will say. Then we'll start descending to 9,000 feet. And, uh, yeah. Alright, and so now we are up. Okay. So. Feet. The uh, auto, uh, the uh, seatbelt sign is on automatic, which means after we pass 10,000 feet, the uh, landing light will come off, and also the uh, uh, seatbelt sign will automatically come off. All right. And after takeoff checklist, up to the line complete. Uh, okay. Nine thousand feet. And there's that warning that. That is, means we got one more thousand feet to climb, that, that's the chain. Alright, we are holding at a speed of 250 knots. Which uh, is a very, uh, it is a good um, speed for... Okay, now we are going down to... Uh, 240, 2, uh, 240 knots, which, which it matches with the uh, FMC there. All right, so cruise and uh, cruise after the cruise checklist uh, above, so 10,000 feet landing light off. PA. Uh, All right, so good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck. Captain speaking, welcome aboard Southwest Airlines. Uh, we uh, have just reached our cruise base of 10,000 feet. Uh, seat boss thing is now off, feel free to move around the cabin. Uh, this is a very short flight, we will just turn around and come back to Los Angeles in just about 20 minutes. Uh, have your uh, seatbelt fast and enjoy our turnaround flight. And uh, we will come back on when we start our descent to LA. Alright, so PA has been complete. Uh, now we will cruise. Uh, we reached uh, our cruise phase of flight. And uh, we will go ahead uh, another uh, 15 miles. And then another 4 miles. And then we will descend to. 9,000 feet, which I can basically divert us to the this waypoint right now, which we got uh, five miles before. We, so we will start descent right now. So I will set that to 9,000. So. apply a little bit of speed brakes if we need to and and uh, right here you can see our uh, speed and all that stuff and right now we're at flaps up speed which uh, we can put flaps one on there uh, so we will drop flaps to one degree and um, speed checked All right, we begin our descent. We begun our descent, and now I will come back on the PA. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain speaking. We have commenced descent into Los Angeles. Uh, thank you for uh, for. 
for uh, choosing Southwest Airlines and we hope we will see you again in the near future. Alright, so descent checklist. PA is PA report uh, given, seatbelt sign is on, a, a flight attendant has been notified, landing light on, below 10,000 feet, which we are below 10,000 feet. Uh, auto brakes uh, as needed, we'll put that at 2. Speed brakes as needed, well, we don't need it anymore, so we can retract it. Flaps 2. And uh, now we can descend further descend to 8,000 feet. And uh, check. And we will put our gear down once we get flaps 15 speed. Uh, which. Um, because we cannot put the gear down right now, it's kind of slow, uh, it's kind of fast, I mean. Uh, we need a little bit of uh, speed brakes because we're now rising speed. We don't want that to happen. Alright. Approach. Approach reference. Okay, check. Approach reference. We will, we will put this my, my FMC on the uh, uh, approach, I uh, will set that to 7,000 feet as we're descending, and now we can select approach reference, flaps 40, 151 knots, uh, add 5 to that, 156, 151 is our reference speed, but we add 5 to that as, as a reason, or as a reason of safety. And you see right now we are reaching a flaps 2 speed. We'll put flaps 5. Okay, once we get there, we are. Okay, so now we're slowing down at flaps 5 speed and we'll put flaps 10. Uh, once we get there, which um, the uh, speed brake lever here basically opens a panel on the, on the wings. Uh, I think what I'm talking about. These, the wing, uh, the panels there. Okay. The wings there that are closed right now because it's not really closed. It's because of the turn it will it will affect it, but yeah, but it's not really closed. It's still deployed. And uh, this right here basically helps you slow down and with the flaps and everything like that. And uh, and so now we can put flaps two flaps. Uh, And we are going to reset MGP um, out to 5,000 feet. And now we can just wait for our descent. Uh, we got 7 miles, so we are at 7,000 feet, so that's 2,000 feet. No hurry, not a big hurry. Okay, so yeah, so we're pretty much good. And once we get closer, which is right about now, I'll put. Uh, continuous. Uh, th the only reason for that is because if we have a bird strike or something get in the engines or something and this will give it an automatic retry start. Uh, just start retry like automatically. We don't need to do it manually if we had that to continuous. We don't need that on cruise flight at 28 or 29,000 feet obviously because there is nothing up there. Flaps 15 and call gear down and uh, speed brakes can be retracted now. Don't need that anymore. And there's, I believe that's downtown LA area right there to the right, right where my mouse is that part. But that's downtown LA. And uh, the third button right here, the third, uh, uh, that's the light test. Uh, basically, you want to see if all the lights will work and it does and that's the light test there and right there is your uh, if everything's normal it will do like this if it needs something and this is the uh, this is the autopilot and automatic throttle disconnection and FMC is always yellow uh, because it, it uh, once the FMC Light lets up. Lights up means there is something 
there's a message on the FMC you need to pay attention to. And flaps 25. Alright, so. It's the LA River down there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that is the LA River. River. LA River. If I'm wrong, uh, although I'm not quite sure, if I'm wrong, correct me. And flaps 30. Set flaps 30 set. And and we set that. Uh, 500 feet and now the uh, and now that button there allows the uh, localizer which right here the light there which means right now we're a little bit too high and now you want the diamond there the solid diamond to be at the to be on the middle if you're if you're up if the light is the diamond is on the up to circle means you're too low and if your diamond is down here means you're too high and right here there will be a solid diamond uh, up here as well which is means your runway indicator if it's to the left means you better turn to the right and if it is to the right you better turn to the left uh, which basically, uh, basically tells you your runway uh, th there it goes right there now indicating our runway is that way so we better turn so which we will turn to the right a little and then now we will turn to the left see all right and flaps full flaps 40 and a runway entrance lights now we're close up to the runway we'll put the runway entrance lights on and so yeah so we're all set for the landing and uh, uh, yeah and now arm the auto brakes arm the auto brakes so it will it will deploy manually I mean not manually uh, automatically and uh, now we can slow us down Make sure we're not on the red marks at any point left, uh, from the bottom or from the right, which we're not. So we're all good for the landing, and uh, pretty soon it will uh, it will have a altitude number right above right there where I am indicating. I means our altitude from here to the ground, which it will be about uh, 150 feet lower than this one see right now see 2500 feet uh, just called out but we're 2410 240 see right now that's still at 25 which which see this is our altitude we're actually only 2260 50 40 30 20 2200 feet of a ground and with the sea level we're still up with the airport elevation so you basically want to trust this bottom number not that uh, not this number there and right now we're descending at 800 feet per minute and our uh, and uh, our uh, also as our uh, uh, speed I mean our uh, vertical speed tape uh, there indicator is not is showing we're right about there and our glide slope are good And we see the runway. <sighs> Approach. Checked everything's good. Everything's well. 
we are prepared for the landing. All right, so well, once we get to about 500 feet, I will announce landing. There it goes, 1,000. Warning. 950. 500 landing landing all right so landing protocol has been given uh, you w w w before we touch down we want to flare we want to bring the nose up just a tiny bit to let the uh, back wheel touch down first and then we'll calmly settle the nose and we'll cut power autopilot is off Settle, whoa, there we go, and we're down. Calmly settle the nose. And apply reverse. There goes reverse and the uh, speed brakes. And we want to uh, release the, uh, auto, uh, release the uh, speed brake, uh, not the speed brakes. Uh, reverse thrust at 60 knots, which we have. We will taxi off to the taxi to the taxi way. And uh, and put the uh, speed brakes down. Uh, put the speed brakes down as well. And are good. And we'll cross runway two five right and and uh, park at one of those gates. And uh, okay, once we pass all the runways, uh, so we're crossing this runway. And after we cross this runway, we will we'll stop. We will stop. And, and we will turn off of our landing light, turn off of our runway light, turn on our taxi light, turn off our engine continue, uh, turn off our engine start switches, start up the APU, and reset the autopilot uh, to its original setting, which is uh, zero. It's default, and now we can add the zero and retract speed brakes. I mean, auto brakes retract the flaps and turn off flight director switch, turn off our terrain, turn off our data, turn off, uh, turn off everything, shuts everything down. And reset the FMC. This this is why we need two pilots uh, to be to be on control. So one of them is the pilot flying, and one of them can be the one doing or whatever the pilot asked him to do. Which in this case we need. That fire truck, though.
All right, so we're good. Now, the first thing to do is to shut off the engines and turn off our transponder. We don't need the transponder anymore. And now, we can turn off of our fuel pumps. Turn off fuel pumps. Turn off passenger signs. Turn off engine bleed, turn on auto, uh, the uh, APU bleed, turn off air conditioning, turn off the uh, hydro, uh, electric, uh, the, 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 the uh, recirculation fans, turn off window heat, turn everything, and basically just turn everything off. Basically, yeah, just turn everything off. Uh, I'm not going to shut the whole complete airplane down uh, just uh, for saving some time. I will see you guys next time. Take care.